welcome back to Falcons RC and we're going to keep working on the MiG-21 and let me introduce you to <laughs> the Colonial Maple MiG-21 <laughs> you know after the main in fly I came back home and did the somewhat lightweight sparkling work on it as you can see there are there you know I show you how, how to do this before uh, I just mix 50% of lightweight sparkling which is right here. Let me get it right here. You can get this one at your store, fast and final, lightweight sparkling. It looks like a. Let me open it. It looks like some sort of a whipped cream or something. You know, it's like a, it's very very light, like a I don't know, like a wet powder or something. Uh, mix it with this stuff right here. Water party. This one is powder pretty much, a uh, yellowish powder. You can see the residual around the the edge. Uh, mix those 50-50 and then apply it to the airplane. I do one coat pretty much without water on it just to on the big holes or whatever you know and after I get all that smooth out I mix that 50-50 and add water to it to make it pretty much like a paint very very fine and thin and then again use one of these sponge brushes and brush it all over the plane as you see and then you sand it down again with a very fine sandpaper like a uh, 350 or so you know something very very fine I have this but here is very fine just to send it down and then I'm actually working right now after this I like to seal the aircraft and I was supposed to be using uh, this Ming wax sealer for wood pretty much but somehow I don't know why I grabbed the wrong can I don't I don't know what I was thinking about I didn't notice this right here and I'm actually staining <laughs> the airplane. Well, no big deal. I mean, it should work the same way. It's actually dry already, and I just put it there. So I'm just gonna do one coat. I just wanted to show you this before I finish it, you know, half and half. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do one coat all around the plane. Uh, this is what balsa wood looks like with maple color on it. And, you know, finish that coat on it, and then we're gonna start painting it. Uh, Right here, the carpet's on. Uh, the tape. The reason why you see the tape on it is because I use super glue for the and this thing's tight for to glue the wood the, to support the the clear plastic. I use super glue on it, and you know when you use super glue on plastic, it, it leaves that white fuzz, you know, all over the plastic, and you can't take that off. So I put in tape over the surface. You don't want the white to to show, you know, you know, you protecting the sun. I'm just gonna leave it there pretty much until I go to film to paint the carpet itself. So okay my friends, I'm gonna go ahead and finish I guess painting this thing on maple and I'll show you what it looks like and we'll keep working on it. Alrighty my friends, so now after I finish the stain on it, this this is this clip is actually a couple of days later after the stain dry. And you notice I'm missing the nose now. And I have a few creases all over the place, and that wasn't an accident because of a flight. And was, the tail. Yeah, and my the tail, tail was like okay. laying all the way down. You can see now it's still sideways. I gotta figure out how to fix it. Yeah, it so was okay. laying like a horizontal stabilizer. Somehow, Benjamin got in here whenever I was at work, and he decided to play with my toys. So he broke my mic. Mm -hmm. Put a bunch of dents all over it, and that tail was laying down. Anyway, so I just have to fix all that, but it's not a big deal. And right now I'm, I'm using just a regular home latex primer, pretty much. It's a latex primer, I'm just gonna do a coat of this on it. Uh, I'm actually doing it because it's actually gonna help me to look if see if there's any more damage around the body. Because I know it, I I didn't see any of this. Dylan was the one that actually showed me that. So uh, by putting the paint on it, I can actually see them now. So I see some small ones over here. They got the pair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and with one coat of this. And after this, we're gonna paint it. So already, I'm gonna finish doing all this and fix it up and I'll show you whenever I do the paint job on it. Okay, my friends, so I got the white already all over the airplane. Um, I'm actually going ahead too and did the gray on the bottom of it. Uh, instead of going with the light blue, I just went ahead with a light gray. 
and you know there is so many variations on the color scheme for a MiG-21 so I'm actually decided I'm gonna go with my own too <laughs> so I'm gonna pretty much gonna do a camo on hunter green and this gray right here I think it's gray anyway yeah, it's, a it's a medium gray in a hunter green and what I'm gonna do you know I'm gonna put the brush this on place so I'm just gonna do it and then I'm gonna show you you know what it looks like I'm gonna do the green all over it and probably stop around this point over here or so and on the nose part I'm gonna go with the tiger scheme trying to blend it in with the tiger meat I think it's called so trying to do something different you know see what it looks like anyway so okay guys I'm gonna go ahead with this to call right here and come up with some sort of design on the camo and I'll let you look at it. Okay my friends so this is pretty much the camo all done. Uh, the part is gonna have the camouflage color anyway. Uh, the front right here as you can see I went over the camo over here with some white because this is where the tiger skin pretty much is gonna blend. Uh, so okay guys I'm gonna start doing some of the painting and I'll, I'm gonna show you pretty much as I do the progress okay my friends so pretty much what I did I put a light yellow on the bottom a little bit of a darker orange medium light orange I guess and then a darker orange towards the back of it and same thing on the thing of the particle stabilizer uh, both sides are the same now pretty much what I gotta do is just mark, mark me some black stripes on it and we should be good to go on that part I still have to rebuild my nose cone again and Try to finish up up here on the nose, but just for, for the most part, that, that's gonna be it, you know, beside the panel lines. So, let me go ahead and just put some black stripes over here and just some random stripes, you know, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so we have some black on it now. Uh, it's doing pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> so far, I'm liking it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is pretty much uh, try to finish up this nose cone, put it back in place and finish up this you know you have to fill up a little bit of gray on the, over this white and the you know the canopy I didn't, I didn't paint all the way into it because it's plastic so i'm gonna have to use a different type of paint for this i'm probably gonna use a spray paint so i'm gonna need to get me some some black spray paint and a little bit of orange or so um so i can spray this plastic with so already guys uh we'll keep working on it Okay, so I got the nose cone in place now. I'm going to have a painter the same color, pretty much same orange. Uh, I don't know why, guys, but the camera is really not picking up the different colors on the scheme, actually. Because I have like a yellow, a light orange, and then a, a darker orange. It's really hard to tell on the, on the, on the video. But uh, next time we go fly it, you know, you'll be able to see it better when we get out on the daylight. Uh, the nose turned out pretty good. And I don't know what I was thinking about saying that I'm gonna need a different type of paint for the cockpit. Uh, you know, I forgot this part over here is plastic too, you know? And it's the same plastic. And as you can see, the, the paint is holding awesome on it. So there is no need for different <laughs> type of paint for the cockpit. So as you see, I blend it all in already into the cockpit. You, you can even see, you can barely see a line right there where the joint is gonna be, where the cockpit comes out. You can't tell at all on the front part. See right there? And you know, I went ahead and take the tape off the inside and put it all on the outside. And what I did pretty much cut the lines where, where the cockpit lines pretty much they, there's going to be black. So, what I'm going to do is the same thing I did with the rest of the plane. I'm going to use the latex primer uh, paint on it and then I'm going to paint it black. Uh, the reason for the latex primer is you know, as you know, latex is very flexible, and this being a flexible part, you know, I want the paint to flex with it. So, all right, my friends, uh, let me go ahead and do that. And uh, also, as you notice, I already went ahead and put the panel lines on it, which this is simple, guys. Uh, the, what I do to do this, pretty much use a, a flexible ruler uh, for a round surface, you know, and I just use a medium, medium size pen right here. And of course, I just go by the scale, you know, lines. I just, you know, slightly push, push on it, you know, so you leave a little bit of an indentation on the phone. This way, whenever you uh, do the weathering or whatever you're gonna do to it, you know you can still see it. So, okay, my friends, uh, let me paint this black and we'll we'll come back. Okay, my friends, so the aircraft is pretty much done. 
I have it outside right now to make sure you know I can look with more details on the paint and I can see that I have a few touch-ups to do on the camouflage colors but this is actually a combination of I guess we can say three different color skins from three different aircrafts and on the MiG-21 you know that the Tiger scheme is from I don't remember the name of this aircraft but I'll, I'll put the name right here on the bottom uh, the camouflage scheme itself is something that I just came up with I didn't really made it you know following any, any particular uh, camo uh, the decals I actually went with the FAM uh, Air Force which is the the Mexican Air Force and I went with the decals from the Esquadron Aéreo and the reason I went with them is pretty much because of the the logo pretty much has a tiger on it which match my pen skin pretty good so I decided to go with them uh, these are the insignia of the of the FAM Air Force uh, which you will actually find in some P-47s and uh, and I, I believe what other aircraft was it I think the P-4 some P-40s too during the World War II for the Mexican pilots but okay my friends uh, this is all we're going to be showing today I actually went ahead too and did the the bungee hook because we're going to start bungee launching this baby this is going to be very hard to keep hand launching it and also as you can see the cockpit turned out pretty good I have more than enough room there for my four cell battery so okay my friends uh, thank you for watching guys uh, on the future we're going to be talking about ducted fan systems as soon as we fly this plane again we're going to start talking about how big my intake has to be how big my exhaust you know how can I get the best out, out of my EDF so we're going to be start talking about that type of things so alright my friends thank you for watching subscribe See you next fly.